<laughs> oh, okay. We have a we have another audience member who's gonna come up. Are you worried it might be you? Or are you excited it might be you? What's your name? Not you. <laughs> I wish it was though. You seem like you'd be really great. Um <laughs> The next audience member story is coming from Jennifer Oxner. Where are you at, Jennifer? Come on up. You can come either way. Let's hear for Jennifer, everybody. Step on up to this microphone, you lovely lady. Tell us two things we need to know about you before your story. Why are you doing this? That's number one. I don't know. <laughs> I'm terrified. You're going to be great. Um, What's thing something, number two? Because it's something recent I realized, I guess. So that's okay, something. great. I can't wait to hear about it. Everybody, round of applause for Jennifer. I like this because I feel like I'm at karaoke and then I can like channel Pat Benatar or something. <laughs> so my biggest failure, um, right currently I work as a yoga teacher uh, I'm a nutritionist too and do some other things in the health field or fitness field. Um, but prior to this, in one of my previous lives, I was a legislative aide to a state senator in Wisconsin. <laughs> and when I got this job, I was sitting at a bar and I met this state senator and we got talking and he was like, have you ever considered working in politics? And I was like, is this happening? Does this happen? You know, I, was, I had a degree in journalism and political science, but mostly I just wanted to fuck around and drink and travel. And that was really fun. <laughs> but I thought, wow, this is a great opportunity. I'm going to do this thing, and I got the job, and I'm like, I'm going to change the world because I'm a legislative aide. It's going to be great. <laughs> so I got a couple suits and wanted pinstripes, and I was like, I look good. I'm going to go to the... Um, Murray Street Neighborhood Association to answer questions, and I'm going to change the world. It's going to be awesome. So almost a, the big part of my job was constituent relations. So how is your boss going to vote on the uh, smoking ban? Yes, and here's why. And all these talking points. My day consisted of giving talking points and learning how to say things with saying very little, actually. It's fascinating. <laughs> Apparently, I still do that to my boyfriend. <laughs> Politics is quite useful. Um, but somewhere along the way, I became less enamored with all these people I saw every day and realized most of them were assholes and egomaniacs who just wanted to stay in power. And the longer I was in it, um, the less I liked it. And the longer I was in it, the more I knew it wasn't for me. And a big reason was because I came to these, went to these meetings and did all these things and I had to put on this face. I had to be this certain person. And I didn't really know how to do it. And I was, ter I was terrible at it. I just wanted to like, talk about what I thought about. And, oh, what happened in yoga class? Or, you know, this interesting conversation I had with this person that had nothing to do with any current issues on the table. But nobody wanted to talk about those things. Lobbyists talked to you because they wanted, to, they wanted your boss to vote for their bill. Things like that. And so it was really hard for me to go into a room and like, put on this face. Because I was just Jenny, you know? That's, that's all I knew how to be, and um, it was really hard, and it made me really nervous and terrified, and at these after-work functions, I most often drank too much and um, made things worse for myself by looking like a fool. Um, but anyway, um, at some point along the way, I decided, you know, I, I, I did yoga, but not really that much, to be honest, but one day I decided I'm going to be a yoga teacher. That's what I'm going to do, and it's going to be great. Um, so... The last two years of my employment there, I, um, I, really was, I was really unhappy. And um, I wasn't doing a very good job. And I was full of excuses and reasons why you know, it was her fault. It was that bitch in my office, she wanted me to go. That might be true, but could I have made it different? Could I have been better at it? Probably. The fact is it just wasn't for me. But I felt terrible about not being good at it, about not being able to excel. And, um, just be great at it. And you know, people wanted me to stay and getting different job offers when uh, I knew my boss was gonna lose his job. Instead, I, you know, it just made me feel really bad. And yes, I didn't wanna do it, but I still you know, I wanted to be good at it and be able to push it away even though I was great at it. So for a long time, you know, I even like still when I tell the story of that, I'm like, oh, she, you know, Summer, that's just really her name, Summer. <laughs> she was terrible. <laughs> 
um, and like always blaming these other people when really, you know, I just wasn't good at it because I was distracted by, you know, the terrible guy, you know, going out too much and these other things that took away from the being the best person I could have been, but ultimately it just wasn't for me. So it was really hard to admit for a long time that it was, I was, it was me who's to blame for failing at it. And could it have been better? Could I have not, you know, made excuses and been better at it? Maybe. But if I was better at it, I'd probably be in Wisconsin. Scott Walker would be my governor. <laughs> I'd still be about talking about politics and learning how to spin stories with the, and saying stuff without really saying anything. But now I'm surrounded by people who want to talk about stuff and how they feel. <laughs> and it's great. And... Um, most of the time, I'm sure I made the right decision to move across the country um, to a place I'd never actually visited before I uh, decided to move here to take on a job that I had no idea what it was going to be like to a city that apparently there's a lot of yoga teachers in Portland. <laughs> Didn't know that either. <laughs> but off I went, um, packed up the U-Haul, and here I am. So the thing that um, was a thorn in my side for a long time about failing at actually turned out to be a blessing because now, oh, there they go. No, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> not going to cry. <laughs> um, it turned out to be a bring me to somewhere that has made me really happy, and no, now I know I can continue to grow within um, the path that I'm on now. So that's my turn. Thank you. Jennifer? Let's hear it for Jennifer. What a lovely story. This, you can hang on to that, Mike. This seems to be a, a, a theme tonight that our failures lead to our next big step. Do you feel like that's true for you? Definitely. Second theme, if you feel like you're a mess, get into yoga, right? <laughs> Definitely. I feel like I need to try this. Yeah. You guys both seem very centered and happy. Well, Kimmy I is a dear friend of mine, and she's the reason I came tonight. So. Who was that? Kimmy. Oh, great. Um, so what, <laughs> it was sincere. We all, we all know each other. So. <laughs> Everybody knows each other. So, so what is your advice to someone uh, who maybe doesn't feel like they haven't gotten out of this messy uh, phase yet, but they don't want to do yoga? <laughs> now I have to be a therapist. I thought that was your job. Oh. <laughs> um, my advice to someone who's a mess who doesn't want to do yoga? You found the thing that you love that sort of got you out of this low point in your life. And it was yoga. And it's yoga for Kimmy. <laughs> Hypothetically, if it's not yoga for someone, what is your advice for how we find the thing that it is? You have to find your passion. How do you do that? Yes, how know. do I do that? Yoga. <laughs> Jennifer, everyone. <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, she's a teacher and she's really selling she's really selling the service. How can we find your classes, Jennifer? If anybody wants to take yoga classes. Well <laughs> I also teach at Yoga Boga and uh, Yoga Space and Me Fitness Studio. So awesome. Me around. <laughs> Go to Yoga Boga, you can find both Kimmy and Jennifer. Find your passion, it's probably yoga. That's the lesson. <laughs>